Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! To complete the registration, we need a new route. The route will be a POST request to the same URI. And the function name is POST register. So let's do it. Route, POST, register. And then the controller, of course, is the same. Registration controller, at POST register. Let's create the function. So open the controller. And I will go here and I will say public function POST register. Now we need to get the posted data. Well, we can use the request for that. So request, request, and then to see the outcome, what I will do is to DD this. Request all. Let's also add the action for the form. So open the register.blade.php file. And for the action, now we have slash register. Okay, let's take a look. So if I go to slash register, you fill the inputs and then you press register. So whatever we filled inside the form, we have it here. You will also notice that we have this token. Well, if you go to register.blade.php, you can see that we have this CSRF field. This is for protection. More about this in the Laravel series. Anyway, so how can we use this data to register a new user? Well, we have two options. The first option is to only register the user and then we have to write the code that will activate the user. The other option is that we can register and activate the user at the same time. For now, I will use the second case. I will do this one because the first case requires to activate the account and for that we need to write a bit more code to send the activation email and then activate the user and all that fancy stuff. Of course, this is only for now. The default will be the first case, when we send emails and then the user activates the account. But for now, let's take a look at the second case, the easy one. So first, let's import Sentinel. Just go here and say use Sentinel. Now let's register the user. So we will use Sentinel. And then register and activate. Inside register and activate, I will pass a request all. Instead of DDing the request all, this time I will DD the created user. Okay, so let's go back and see what we have. So if I refresh here and I say continue, you will see that we get an error. It says field location doesn't have a default value. I will tell you why. If you go to the config folder and then Cartalist Sentinel, if you scroll down a bit, you will see that the Sentinel package is using the eloquent user model. Okay, so let's open that model, eloquent user. Okay, so we have, we have a lot of stuff here, but you need to focus on this protected fillable. So the error says that the field location doesn't have a default value. The reason why this happens is because location is not in this fillable array here. So in order to fix this error, what we have to do is to include the location here. Okay, let's go back and reload. Yeah, so now this works. So what we have here is the created user. As you can see in the controller, what we do is to DD the created user, and this is what we get. You can see the attributes for the user, the email, the location, the password, everything. So instead of returning the created user, let's just redirect to the root of the application. So return, redirect to the root. Let's create another user. So I will go back to the register form. Once you fill the form, click register. And as you can see, we are now back to the index page. So what about the database? What do we have there? Well, if you go to the user's table, you can see that we have two users with all the attributes that we gave them. If you open the activations table, you can see that for each user that was created, we have an activation. Because we used the register and activate function, the completed is set to 1 and the completed at has a date, which means that the users are activated. In one of the future videos, we will change register and activate to register only, and we will see that completed will be 0, and completed at will be null. This is because we want the user to activate the account via email. The next video is about login.